After Alabama fans and players felt they were robbed of the national championship in 1977, the Crimson Tide was well motivated to seek the national championship, and it was well equipped with a proven senior quarterback, Jeff Rutledge, outstanding backs Tony Nathan and Major Ogilvie, and defensive stalwarts like linebackers Barry Krause and Rich Wingo, and defensive backs Don McNeil and Murray Legg. One thing quickly comes to mind when fans think of the 1978 season. Not only was it the defining moment of the 1978 campaign, some say it is the defining moment in all of Alabama football. The goal line stand not only secured a national championship for Bama, but inspired a whole genre of art. Top-ranked Penn State, then an independent, could take its pick of bowl games and chose to square off against the second-ranked Tide. It was a titanic defensive struggle and punting duel that remained scoreless until shortly before the half. Rutledge hit Bruce Bolton with a 30-yard pass to send the tie to intermission with a 7-0 lead. Penn State tied the score, but Alabama answered and led 14-7 in the fourth quarter. But the tide lost a fumble at the 19-yard line, and Penn State pushed for the goal line. Don McNeil saved the touchdown with a brilliant open field tackle at the one. A third down running play failed to score. With the ball inches from the goal line, Murray Legg exhorted his teammates by yelling, gut check time, gut check time in the huddle. Tackle Marty Lyons looked at Penn State quarterback Chuck Fusna and said, you better pass. Fusna handed to fullback Mike Guman. Linebacker Barry Krause met him in the middle of the Bama defense and the resulting collision knocked Krause out. But Guman didn't break the plane of the goal. Bama held and won the national championship UPI voted Southern Cal number one, even though Alabama was the higher ranked bowl team and had beaten the number one team in the head-to-head -head matchup. The AP vote went solidly to Alabama. <laughs>